They'll be calling you a radical. Got big breaking news. Just got off the phone with the court in San Diego in the 9th District on the USS Reagan versus GA. I just got off the phone with Paul just now. Just now, I want to give you an update. We got good news. So I'm like, I've been throwing a fit. You know, I've been throwing a fit. What's the hold up with the delay? This is ridiculous. Well, you know, this needs to be in the courtroom four or five years ago. TEPCO and GE. Now, remember, this is the University of General Electric I'm at, in the belly of the beast that blackballed me. This is important that I shoot these videos and I do all this work here because this is American Ground Zero. This is the people that built the nuclear reactors at Fukushima, Japan, nuked my father to death in the Nevada test site, stripped my degrees from me. So this is major, major news. So... The appellate court was all ready. They had the ruling all done and ready to go. TEPCO stepped in and said, we asked the court, we want to get a statement from the U United States Judicial. We want a statement from the State Department. We want to, re I mean, at this late date, they're going to pull that stunt. So the court's like, okay, okay. You know, just delay tactic, another delay tactic. So it backfired in their face. So this is breaking news. This is big news. The Justice Department and the State Department both came in, and this is coming right from the horse's mouth, in support of USS Reagan troops. I just talked, I just got off the phone just now with Paul. Both of them in support, they're supporting documents. So, of course, here at the University of General Electric, this is the University of General Electric, literally, literally. I taught here, number one school business, I got blackballed here. They, I mean, this is the major, I mean, what they did to me here is outrageous. But because of my anti-nuclearism, anti-nuclear energy. This case is the paramount that's going to blow this all to hell because they can't cover it up. So they didn't think the judge, we asked the court to expand the case to General Electric. No one thought that would happen. Oh, they did, because the two original whistleblowers were right here, who I know, on the Mach 1 and the Mach 2, they cheated. They cheated when they built them. This is the people that cheated. You know, you're looting of billions of dollars. So, GE gets in the mix now, and they step in and go right to, you know, Paul and Bonner and Bonner, and, you know, John Edwards is involved. There's lots of attorneys. I mean, they've lined up. All the greatest attorneys in the world are lining up now. Thank you, Paul and Bonner Bonner, for sticking up for them when nobody would stick up. I was down there by myself. These guys stuck their neck out. You know, that's full of leukemia. So, they said, no way. You know, you guys want to jump in and try to let? I mean, they're such scumbaggery. You know, what TEPCO is playing, which, you know, the United States Department of Energy, the corruption that went inside there. But... The United States Judicial and the State Department, I've known this is our trump card, literally. You're going to stand up against 800,000 military personnel, you know, go ahead, at your own peril. Like when I was at, I was the only activist there, Lori and I are there. You can ask Lori, the white shirt's all over me. Where's your permit, you know, Jason, I have the only permit, I have the only permit ever issued, I have that permit, Jason, you know, everybody's going to give me a permit coming out, i got a permit in five minutes, you know. They called the SWAT team on me. I'll never forget it. Young Hispanic, you know, San Diego cop with a gun, AK-47, in my face. That far away from my face. You know? And I'm like, what are you doing? You better have a, I got a permit. Why do I need a permit to exercise my First Amendment right? So I was in the Navy. And he just goes on. I mean, they, you can ask Lori. I mean, why is she threatening me? I mean, the first year I was down there by myself, I violated my own rule. I was full of leukemia at the time. I was in the bone marrow transplant with one of these young men who's passed. You know, I'll say this too. You know, I got a call from Miss Lucky's, Daniel Lucky's father, mom and dad. They didn't know about this case. You know, actually they hung up on the phone. I mean, I thought about it. I mean, it brought, it, you know, I started to cry. Everybody, why you wear these crazy glasses? I found these glasses in the tide pools in Monterey. So I do all the dirty work. No one gives me any credit. And know this, I did all this dirty work while in critical condition with payload counts at 38. I was dying in San Diego. I was at the USS Reagan ship holding signs, do not, the Little League football sleepover camp. I'm the only one staying there. Don't do it. San Diego Chargers, who are now the Walmart Chargers, don't go on there. Don't go on there. I'm by myself. I was on my own. You know, Lonnie paid for my trip, Lonnie Clark. I stayed in, you know, PB, my old home. You know, the leukemia unit busted me. I was a millionaire. You know, I took all my money. I got AML leukemia. I was given two months to live. I've done all this work 
You know, my name is Amal O'Keefe, a survivor. You know, I just came off the list. I just got off that prison bus. I've been on it for five years. It's been horrible. You know, I know what these young men are going through. I literally have walked through the valley of the shadow of death. I was going in and out of a coma five years ago right now. You know, and I watched my father die young. They took him into the Nevada Test and Human Lab right here. And my uncle will be one of the, he'll be down there. You know, the retired general, the liaison, the CIA liaison inside Japan. That's my uncle. He's still alive. Got a mind like a freaking trap. He's 82, 83. I've got him talked into being involved. He's going to do an interview with me. And he's going to, you know, he's going to break ranks. And he's going to get involved. And, you know, we're going to show strength. We're going to support these guys. You know, they're not going to just human lab. I did my dad. You know, they gave my dad nothing. They gave my mother nothing. You know, there's a monument down there that the people of the community put up for my father. <laughs> so, this is a big deal. Sorry about that. So, right from the horse's mouth. So, this will break their back. And anybody who doesn't believe that Fukushima genocide of the Pacific Ocean, the emergency closed, declared federal emergencies, Obama's last little trickle, nine different fisheries. The Great Pacific, the greatest salmon collapse year over year and still had collapse in history. Salmon go to sea for five years. I got these at the tide pools, that's why I wear them in the bottom, because there were no starfish, no sea anemones. You know, and I, grass rooters, I stayed at Carmel Chris's house. I mean, I've slept on floors. I walked the entire coast of California in support of these young men. You know, Astro walked with me, so did Rex. They were on the Pacific Trail, I walked on the coast. Astro died on the trail. You know, we all got cancer at the same time, the fall of 2011, just like so many of these people. You know, we support the troops, we support, no, yeah, right. <laughs> We're going to see. So this is right from the horse's mouth. So TEPCO went into this, I mean, just playing more games. Goes into the State Department, the U.S. military, and like they've already supported the nuclear industry over their own troops. Like they did, you know, the, the atomic veterans in the Nevada test site, murdered them all. They don't care. Agent Orange. So it backfired in their face. This is coming right from the court. I got the docket. I read the docket. You know, I've been reading it every day. You know, Nancy's been paying for the transcript, which is outrageous. We even have to pay for what the filings are. But we've got them all. I've got them all. And, you know, go against me on this thing at your own peril. I have more. I mean, I hold the keys to all this case, you know, big time. Oh, boy, do I. You know, we've got great attorneys. Paul's fantastic. Bonner and Bonner are fantastic. You know, everything. You know, and I'll be down there with our activism, but so that's why the ruling got delayed. And the Justice Department and the State Department came in in support of the troops. So GE's asking, of course, they're doing their spin. And by the way, this is important. GE's been liquidating assets illegally. Toshiba is announced that Westinghouse was forced down. The merger of Westinghouse and Toshiba was forced. It was one. Of, it's the most criminal merger in. It's criminal post Fukushima, part of the cover-up, as Obama flew to Brazil with Jeffrey M. Melting, the CEO of GE. We know. Jeffrey and these guys think they got away. Oh, I know. My army has all this. I've been very careful to not to leak stuff out because I don't want to blow the case, number one. I'm not going to leak anything out, put anything out without these attorneys' permission. I run everything through these guys. You know, for free. They haven't paid me. I'm no consultant. You know, I do my work for free. You know, and so... Look, that incredible grotesque, I know what happened inside the Situation Room. I have the transcript. It's classified. I can't forward that because I've run that by the attorneys. I know what happened. You know, this merger was so corrupt. Toshiba's come out, the biggest company, 142-year-old company, saying we have no options. They've gone with hat in hand to the UN. They've gone with hat in hand to... Congress, and know this, Congress has approved, the House approved, a nuclear bill which was sponsored by a District 9 California who was not, who refuses to support his own troops. He refuses to support, this guy's a rat. And they, so they're going to bail out the nuclear industry, the very people that killed the Pacific Ocean, but they won't support the troops they did this to, but they'll support the people that did it. You look it up. The nuclear bill that got pushed through the House and passed through the House is totally in support of more nuclear, more nuclear, the cover-up, the bailout to Toshiba, the bailout, and gee, he's been liquidating assets illegally, and I can prove it. Clyde Cooley would be very proud of me. That's what he did. He was the due diligence guy, the guy. That's probably why he's dead. You know, 
I can learn from him. The best forensic a freaking count and finance professor in maybe in the history of this country. I had the last letter of recommendation I ever he ever wrote. It's sitting in special collections right there. So this is a big deal. So this is good news. You know, so I'm sure they have the ruling all ready to go. You know, this delayed it. So they wanted they issued a motion to have fifty thousand words in response to what the State Department said because it caught them off guard. And Bonner and that, they told them no and Paul, but the judge says, okay, we're going to give you. Go ahead. And so, this, like I said, it's a good news. They're playing the delay game, so that's what delayed the ruling by the appellate court in Pasadena. So, and this is right from the horse's mouth. I've read through all the filings and rulings. I'm the only one that has them. You know, we work at this every day, all day. Have from the beginning. So, stand tuned. So, we'll get this into the domain.